I'm not sure if you knew this or not, but today is National Paranormal Day, a day where people who believe in paranormal activities are encouraged to gather all together and share those fun ghost stories. <laughs> and here in Northeast Ohio, we have a well-known ghost whisperer. Her name is Mary Ann Winkowski. And she says that she's always had this gift of being able to communicate with earthbound spirits. Well, she received an uptick in calls when the pandemic hit because people were spending more time at home and noticing odd things. Marianne has a client who believes there's a ghost in her home, but what we found out during a Zoom call with her was Sandy from Berea has three spirits around her. Well, we've all been aware of stuff. Um, my husband did see the old lady ghost, but he's the only one that's seen her, but we've all experienced something. The old lady is definitely there. She is in and I'm going to assume it's your bedroom because there is, there's a pretty big closet in that bedroom. It's a decent sized, yes. Okay, now there is also a man ghost in the house. Hmm. And he is standing where I can see the backyard. It's a dinette area, it's not a dining room, right? Right. Now, surprising, there is a young man in the house, too. So hmm. you've got three spirits in the house. You have three bedrooms on the first floor, correct? That is correct. And who sleeps down the basement? My middle son. This ghost is attached to that son. Okay. He right now is standing in your living room. So all three of your ghosts are on the first floor. Oh. I think the woman's first name is either Mary or Marie, something like that. Yes, that's... And this yeah. is her house, let me tell you. She she is one of the original owners of the home. Oh, um, okay. I have that verified by neighbors. When my husband saw her, he described her to a neighbor who has lived here forever, grew up in the house that she currently lives in. And she said, yes, that was her to a T. She's walking over to where the teenage boy is, and she is... Golly, she is making a son. Uh, it looks like she's rocking a baby. Is, I wonder if this is her son, a dead son. The, the story I was told was that the people who lived here, the original owners, moved here after their son passed away as a teenager. He obviously is getting enough energy out of your middle son and you have the kids in the house, so he must have been around your boys a lot. Okay. She will move things. She will move jewelry. She She's very snoopy, paperwork. The man likes to cause a little bit of problems in the house. He definitely, he likes to break things. I don't know if you've had trouble with electrical or plumbing or if your roof is leaking or furnace, he definitely can mess with stuff like that. We've replaced two central air conditioning units since we've been in this house. You know, I gotta tell you, Sandy, I think this guy followed you from some other house. I think he's been around you for quite a while. Did you live by a park? I lived on a street called Park Mount. That guy came with you from that house. I don't know who. Wow, I'm, I'm so overwhelmed right, right now. I know, it's a lot to take in. Yeah, uh, if that was me, I, there'd, I, there'd be another house for sale in, in Berea. Poor Jay, are you okay? Listen, I am Bets, but she freaked me out a couple of years ago. She came in here and was telling me about all kinds of things <laughs> about my grandfather who, that they just weren't, these things weren't public and she was rattling them off and I'm like, whoa, Marianne, <laughs> slow down. You are freaking me out. So what can you do if you're going through something like this aside from move? Um, and then they might follow you, according to Marianne. Marianne says, if you think there are ghosts in your homes, you do have some options. Have a priest or a minister come in. They can bless the house. Get a smudge stick that burns like incense and go around the perimeter of every room in your house with the smoke. Apparently the ghosts don't like that kind of thing. And the third is to talk with Marianne. If you want to reach out to her, you can head to her website, MarianneWinkowski.com.